Recent history shows that returning to the great film stories, characters, and worlds of the past after a few decades doesn't always lead to the stuff of movie nightmares. Top Gun Maverick was alright, wasn't it? So here's hoping these supernatural comebacks and returns to some of the 80s and 90s best slices of action stick the landing like Tom Cruise in a fighter jet, eh? Hi, I'm Gareth here from WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 movie sequels finally happening. Number 10, I Am Legend 2. After gobbling up an impressive 585 million at the box office and going on to become one of Will Smith's biggest hits, it felt as though an I Am Legend sequel was pretty inevitable. Yet despite there being talk of a prequel back in 2008, and it again being noted how Warner Brothers were planning on producing another film in the world in 2012, a return to all things I Am Legend is still yet to arrive in theatres. However, last year did finally seem to bring with it the most promising update yet when it comes to this potential Smith starring follow-up. Deadline noted how the sequel would not only see the return of the first film star as Dr. Robert Neville, but Creed and Black Panther actor Michael B. Jordan will also be joining the feature as both a star and producer. And for those wondering how a sequel would even be possible after the theatrical version's ending saw Neville blowing himself and some dark seekers up with a grenade, then the film's returning writer Akiva Goldsman had a rather intriguing answer. During an interview with Deadline, Goldsman confirmed that the alternate ending, one that stays more faithful to the Richard Matheson source material, would be the canonical one coming into the sequel. And speaking of intriguing long-awaited Warner Brothers follow-ups, number 9, Constantine 2. Another Weed Road Pictures project that looks to be finally getting the sequel treatment. A follow-up to 2005 cult hit Constantine was also confirmed to be in development in September of last year. And don't you worry, the mighty Keanu Reeves would be returning to the role of the titular exorcist for said flick. However, it is worth noting how the impactful changes that went down inside of DC Studios recently could have thrown a potential spanner in the works. With Reeves recently explaining to Collider how the higher-ups are currently re-evaluating whether they actually want a second Keanu-led Constantine movie at this moment in time. That being said, Reeve still seems hopeful the sequel will be given a chance to exist. Returning to a much-loved character after a few decades off is obviously nothing new for the John Wick icon, with Reeves making comebacks to both the Bill and Ted and Matrix universes over the last few years. So fingers crossed director Francis Lawrence and his leading man are given the official thumbs up from James Gunn and Peter Safran in the not-too-distant future. Do you think Constantine 2 will ever actually become, you know, a thing? Let me know down below in the comments, my friends. Number 8, Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley. Another film that has seemingly been in the process of being developed for decades, the long-awaited fourth entry into the Beverly Hills Cop series finally began shooting last year. The flick has actually been discussed since as far back as the mid-90s, with Eddie Murphy even telling Rolling Stone that he was trying to nudge the series onto television at one point. In the end, though, the rights to the sequel project were picked up by Netflix, and both the streaming giant and Paramount Pictures are producing the incoming return of Axel Foley. And if the promise of seeing Murphy dust off his pistol wasn't enough of a reason to get excited about this latest Beverly Hills action adventure, then the casting of Kevin Bacon and Joseph Gordon-Levitt in roles alongside returning cast members Judge Reinhold, John Ashton, Paul Reiser, and Bronson Pinchot will likely do the trick. Number 7, Beetlejuice 2. Not content with returning to the Batcave for the first time in decades in the upcoming The Flash movie, Michael Keaton will also be stepping back into the shoes of another one of his iconic roles from the past in the not-too-distant future. That's according to Warner Brothers themselves, with it being noted that both Tim Burton and Keaton are expected to return as director and the titular creepy figure respectively for a Beetlejuice sequel. On top of this, Wednesday superstar Jenna Ortega is also said to be appearing in the follow-up, playing the daughter of Winona Ryder as Lydia, who is also set to return. Again, a sequel to the 1988 horror comedy classic has been in development for decades, with a Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian project being conceived as far back as 1990. I wasn't even born, damn it. However, it's looking like this recently reported version of the sequel could be going into production very soon, on the back of the film finally being given a September 6, 2024 release date. Both Burton and Keaton haven't exactly been shy about wanting to work together on another Beetlejuice entry over the years 
is. And said hopes becoming a reality have never felt more likely than they do right at this very moment. Number six, Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. If you were a youngster growing up at the turn of the century in the UK, or outside of it for that matter, there's a decent chance the tale of Ginger, Rocky, and the rest of the potential pies trying to soar away from their doom on a farm holds a special place in your heart. And that film ended on a rather hopeful and exciting note too, with the chickens actually managing to see if the grass was actually greener on the other side. So there was definitely a ton of potential in going for a second chicken run in the future. That's what made the fact that a follow-up to this Pather and Aardman classic was only announced as being in development nearly two decades later so damn shocking to behold. This was the highest grossing stop motion animated feature of all time I say. It then took another year or so for the flick to officially enter pre-production, with principal photography going down in 2021 and the official cast finally being revealed last year. The likes of Mel Gibson as Rocky, Julia Sawala as Ginger, the late Benjamin Whitrow as Fowler, Timothy Spall as Nick, and Phil Daniels as Fetcher will be replaced by Zachary Levy, Thanduin Newton, David Bradley, Ramesh Raganathan, and Daniel Mays respectively in the hotly anticipated sequel. And after posters were recently revealed of the new and returning gang, Dawn of the Nugget's December Netflix release cannot come soon enough. Number 5, Expendables 4. There was a time there when it looked like Sylvester Stallone and his mercenary crew perhaps wouldn't be teaming up to take down another big bad ever again. Sly walked away from the franchise back in 2017 on the back of creative differences, but he was back on board by the following year. And even after the fourth film finally began principal photography in October 2021, the lack of any real buzz surrounding this first Expendables feature in nearly a decade felt like a bit of a worrying sign. In fact, after wrapping the project in late 2021, it took almost a year before Lionsgate even committed to an official release date for the return of Sly, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren and Randy Couture alongside a new group of ass-kicking men and women. But as September 22nd, 2023 draws closer by the day, the lack of any trailer or any real updates as to what the film's plot will even entail, outside of a one-line IMDb synopsis, have left a ton of people most likely unaware this latest chunk of explosive rated R violence is even inbound. Very strange indeed. Number 4. Twisters Almost 30 years on from the late great Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt's last storm-chasing blockbuster hit, it looks like Twister fans will once again be swept off their feet on July 19th, 2024. The sequel to the groundbreaking flick known for its cutting-edge special effects will see Lee Isaac Chung directing on the back of his notable work on the most recent season of The Mandalorian and his Golden Globe-winning film Minari. And when it comes to those trying their best not to be sucked up by their titular weather during what is being described as this new chapter of the 1990 action disaster classic, Glenn Powell, Daisy Edgar Jones, and Anthony Ramos are all currently attached to Star. This also isn't the first time a Twister sequel has been talked about, however, with Hunt actually being interested in directing and writing a direct sequel, which would follow a group of quote-unquote all-black and brown storm chasers. Yet Hunt recalled on Watch What Happens Live in 2021 that she could barely get a meeting even as recently as June 2020. Despite Hunt's potential lack of involvement in the sequel likely leaving some Twister fans feeling a little disappointed though, the summer of 2024 still currently looks set to be a stormy one. Number 3, Cliffhanger 2 Rocky, Rambo, Barney Ross, Sly can always be counted on to revisit his greatest hits at some point down the road. And sure enough, it was just recently revealed that the Hollywood legend will once again be returning to one of his previous action-heavy roles in the form of Ranger Gabe Walker in an upcoming Cliffhanger sequel. Said 1993 action thriller saw Stallone hanging off many a mountain and wire, as his walker clashed with a group of criminals among the cliffs. And despite now being 76 years old, Sly is unquestionably showing no signs of slowing down with this latest return. A potential sequel has been dangling around in developmental hell for decades, with TriStar being said to have been interested in a sequel as far back as 1994. 2008 then saw the project gathering a little momentum again, before a new entry never really materialized, and a reimagined rebooted version of the flick that would be female-led and boast a cameo appearance from Jason Momoa of all people, was also announced back in 2019, with Anna Lilia Mirpour sitting in the director's chair. For now though, it's looking like a legacy sequel will be the new direction for the project going forward, with Greenland's Rick Roman Wow now directing this long-awaited climb back into theatres. 
Number two, Lords of War. Now at this point, you should always be expecting the unexpected when it comes to what project Nicolas Cage will attach himself to next. And true to form, it was just announced that the mighty Cage will be surprisingly reprising the role of arms dealer Yuri Orlov in an upcoming sequel to 2005's Lord of War. Only this time, Yuri will be joined by his son Anton, played by It's Bill Skarsgård. The first film's writer and director Andrew Nichol is also back for Lords of War, with the sequel diving into a tale focusing on Yuri's son trying to top his notorious pups. And with Anton building his own mercenary army to be used for America's Middle Eastern conflicts, this sets off quite the heated rivalry between father and son. Sounds like a recipe for glorious disaster. Principal photography is set to kick off in the fall, so prepare yourselves for many an instantly iconic exchange between two of the biggest scene stealers currently walking the earth. Number 1. Gladiator 2 Not only is this long-discussed and clamoured for sequel to Ridley Scott's 2000 classic Gladiator now finally actually heading into production, but the incoming Gladiator 2 is looking more stacked by the week. No Russell Crowe, no problem. As of recording, Scott's follow-up boasts a cast list including Paul Mescal, Barry Keegan, Joseph Quinn, a returning Connie Nielsen, Pedro Pascal, and Denzel Washington. Mescal will be playing the role of Lucius, son of Nielsen's Lucilla, in the film set for a November 22nd, 2024 release, with Keegan being said to be playing the part of Emperor a Gita too. And in terms of what the flick will actually be about, despite no real official confirmation at this moment in time, Maximus Star Crow did note on the Ryan to Breedy show that he believes Scott was picking the story up just as Lucius was stepping into the role of Emperor. At this point though, all that's certain is that Scott is finally fully focused on dusting off many a sandal and sword for a sequel that will surely be the hottest ticket in town when it finally aspires to entertain in late 2024. And that's our list, no many other movies sequels finally happening? Well, let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're down there. Also, if you're into this sort of stuff, then please head on over to whatculture.com and find some more fantastic articles just like the one this video you're watching right this second is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Cheers for coming back for this particular sequel-heavy list. I hope to see you very, very soon, but in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye!